Hey, what's up guys? I am here with Scott Clawson. We're at his place tonight and he was nice enough to ask me to come in and teach a little class here. We're in Salisbury, uh, that's North Carolina, at the Fight Factory. And we were talking about something to do a video on and I just finished like doing an instructional with BJJ Fanatics. So please go check that out. It's called Compression Locks, Slicers and Sandwiches. So it's all about like bicep slicers, calf slicers, ham sandwiches, stuff like that. Um, and he was talking to me about a bicep slicer that he likes and I'm like, man, I forgot that one and I forgot two others that I really want to put on the instructional. There's tons of stuff on it, but we're going to show like, these are like the honorable mentions. So Scott, you want to show yours now? Sure. Uh, so this one's from North South. Um, so if you have a head here, uh, let's see if I'm going to do that one. So one thing I always look at in North South, there's always a space between the elbow and ribs. And that's the easiest way to turn him on his side. So I go in this space and get behind his shoulder and get him on his side. If we can finish with the Kimura here, it's great, but usually he's gonna grab his lapel or give me some kind of energy where I can't get his arm away. This is the time, since he has that downward pressure, it only takes a split second to switch my hands. So I'm switching my grip from traditional Kimura to here. Once I get that grip switched, I'm gonna step my rear leg over here. Now I have two choices. I could sit back this way, or I could continue to roll. And now we finish up with this bicep slicer here. I connect, I can squeeze, push my legs away. Yeah, that's nasty. And it's, it's one of those two, it's like a combo lock. Cause like there's that, yeah. that's something that I pointed out on, on the instructional, it, a lot of these, the compressions, the way that they operate, there's that pain on the form on the bicep that it's cutting into, but it's also the leverage for the shoulder yeah. lock is still there a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah. So it's like, it's all the bad things all at once. Yeah, so that, that's a gnarly one. You wanna show that one more time? Sure. So we're here in North South. I'm utilizing this space between his elbow and his ribs to turn him to his side and start my Kimura lock. If I find him grabbing his gi, this is just one option. I'm gonna switch my hands really quickly, step over here, so uh, a key point is make sure your calf is right in front of his forearm. I could sit back, but in this case, I'm just gonna do a little forward roll here. And then I can, um, you can triangle your legs or push your feet together more out as long as you can extend. And like Eli said, there's still shoulder locks and things there, uh, but you also get a nice compression lock there. The ones that um, I left out that I, I actually meant to include, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those here um because they're they're compressions but they're kind of weird one's a calf slicer and it's um it's from like a, a leg entanglement like if we get into a saddle position so if you're if i got your leg here and obviously not something that's uh, exactly legal in the gi but whatever um so if if i'm attacking this far side leg here we've got a calf slicer opportunity to where instead of just going for the straight foot lock or for the heel hook if i go from here and drop my arm down like this and then I come up. So this is like that Texas clover leaf type action. So I'm, I'm crossing my ankles, I'm pinching my legs, keeping his knees between mine, keeping my hips nice and close, and I'm digging underneath so that his top foot is still in footlock position, but I'm swimming under. And as I pull this up and I'm pulling this thumb to my cross side pec, it's digging his bottom shin into his bottom calf, or his top calf rather. And that's a nasty uh, like compression, that, that calf slicer right there. It's really awful. So um, that one got left out. Uh, and then my, one of my favorite things from a scarf hold, and um, this one I've heard it called a lot of different things. I learned this a long time, before, a time ago from Carlos Machado, and um, it's from, yeah, from, so from Casa de Family. We get here, and I'm gonna go from a, a standard Casa, like this, let's turn this here a little bit more actually. And I'm going from here, and it's a really good one because like you can sit here and fight the arms, but if he's doing a good job of either hugging me or not allowing me to get his arm in some other kind of way, I'm gonna go here and get this kind of pillow variation like this. And I want to check back and see where his leg is. And I'm gonna pick up that back leg here and I'm gonna grab the inside of my thigh on this side here. And I'm gonna use this. I'm grabbing a little closer to the knees than toward the hips so I get a full leverage. And I'm gonna squeeze the knees together and it's just miserable. It's really horrible. It's, um, we used to call it the thigh master too, but we get here like this and we, I keep my heels dug in. I bring my knees together and squeeze like that. So it's a strong, it's a very much a compression that it compresses everything and you just can't breathe. Like it squishes everything internally. Yeah, so. it's, it's a combination. It's almost like you're getting choked and compressed <laughs> and every, it's just, Terrible. It's miserable. So, um, so that's that's not going to win you any friends for sure. But um, it's really a good one to have whenever you get to scarf hold and you can't get a lot of other clean submissions. So there's some nice uh, what I would consider all those in the family of the umbrella term 
of compressions because any slicers, sandwiches, um, any kind of like suffocations like that a lot of the time are kind of in that family. And again, so shameless plug, um, go check out my new instructional. It just came out from BJJ Fanatics. I'm sure there's a 50% off sale this time. Um, but it's called Compression Slices and Sandwiches. Scott, I appreciate you, brother. You, brother. Um, anytime you're in Salisbury, North Carolina, and you need a place to train, this place, you, these guys have a phenomenal, not just jiu-jitsu program, Muay Thai program. What else you guys, that's all you need, but yeah. what else you guys have? Yeah, we've mixed yeah. that in, some MMA. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. so been, been in the game for a long time. Um, we both, a couple of guys here that have been in for like three decades of our lives dedicated to this stuff, so it's, it's always a blast getting to sit around and discuss yeah. the old school stuff. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, where's your socials that you can? Uh, you can find us, Scott Paulson, BJJ, uh, on YouTube, uh, Instagram. Uh, and if you're in Salisbury anytime, you know, yeah, TikTok as well. Yeah, if you're in Salisbury, you know, give me a shout, stop by. Yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Keep watching that Jiu Jitsu channel, like, subscribe, all that stuff.